Hello, Tom Lavecchia here with the latest edition of the New Theory Podcast. We have a very special guest today. This uh, guest is a sponsor of the NBA Buttman or the show, as well as the New Theory Podcast. But more importantly, I wanted to go over what he does and alternative ways to fund your business, um, something near and dear to my heart as an entrepreneur. But without further ado, Jason Venturelli, co-founder of JSV Capital. Jason, how are you doing today? Very good, Tom. Listen, Tom, thanks for having me on this gorgeous day in New Jersey. Our sun is shining over this podcast here, and I thank you for having me. And I'm excited to tell everyone, especially the business owners out there, um, the alternative method to business loans and how uh, how we can help. Okay. So, so for like folks that have businesses that maybe did not get capital yet, we're going to try to have it not run into a wall. So let's first lay the landscape. Let's go down kind of through traditional all the way to non So what are different routes of funding? Just so we can set up a baseline for people to understand. So, I mean, there's a lot of ways businesses, you know, can go into funding and, and what they need the funding for. Um, just regular capital, yeah. just capital for their business. Correct. You know, 50,000, 100,000, just working capital. Correct. Everyday needs, um, you know, to pay invoices off, payroll, yeah. stuff like that, right? Expansion. Um, but expansion, right. Um, also equipment financing, yeah. you know, that's another route You're looking to buy, you know, equipment for your restaurant, looking to buy equipment, tractor trailers for your trucking company, your landscaping business, your construction company. Yeah. Um, you go that route. Um, we don't commercial real estate. You want to buy another piece of property for your business, um, or investment property. You know, that's a, that's considered a business loan. So, so there's different types of reasons to need, need money. And for those that are watching are probably filtering if they had that extra money, what they would do with it. So the question is how, again, I want to go, even though you may not supply, I just want to give the landscape of traditional, you know, bank loan sources all the way to JSV and beyond. So just give us a little bit of a background on different types of, of financing. So for instance, unsecured capital, we go up to a million. Okay. So this is a business owner comes to us, okay. you know, they don't have to put their home, you know, up or, their boat, cars, whatever they may have, any collateral, they yeah. have any, any collateral. Yeah. You know, we're basing it on their revenue, and they come to us and say, "Listen, I have a business. It's a viable business. There's revenue coming in. I need more, whether it be to grow or whether they're in a, in a rut and they, you know, need to get get out of it. Um, so that's an unsecured capital. Uh, we have uh, a lot of trucking companies and restaurants come to us um, for equipment. Yeah. You know, whether it's a new oven for the restaurant, they're expanding." Um, for trucking companies, it's the tractor trailers um, and, and so forth. So that's where we come in and we kind of figure out where do you need this money? You know, wh what's the future hold? How are you going to grow with the company? How are we going to get you out of this hole? And we'll put you in the right scenario. You know, and that's and that's our job. Our job is to, you know, it's a huge ocean out there. I mean, if you just Google, you know, business loans, you know, the normal guy working yeah. his business he doesn't know where to turn to. There's just yeah. so much out there that's just, you know, hitting them. You know, you just Google anything and he's going to get all these ads pop up. Where do you turn to? Where do you go? We simplify that process for you. We're the professionals. We know where to go to get you the best deal, but also which lenders are going to, you have the best odds to get approved for, you know, and that's where JSV Capital comes in. Okay. Makes sense. And I want to give a little context because I have two stories. One I want to share now, one I want to share a little later in the podcast is the first is, and I think I talked about this on the NBA button, man. Shout out to John Panisi, who hopefully is watching. Uh, I was, um, it was uh, mid-February 2020. And, um, you know, right before COVID hit, I purchased a home. And I had another home that was for sale. So I was able to, you know, still have the house on the market, but still be able to get this house. So I put less down. I pretty wiped out any any cash I had on hand in hopes of selling the other house later. Um, so, and I have two businesses, uh, you, you know, a shipping franchise and, and my media company. And the media company was fine. We were cooking, everything was good, but the shipping balances for whatever reason were a little higher. So we had a, a higher bill than normal, probably not even higher than normal, probably between the average on any given month is about $70,000 on both cards, um, which is normal and consistent with these level of revenue. Um, however, um, um, you know, my sister who runs the other business goes to swipe the card it declines so she calls me up because usually i'm the one overspending and i'm jamming up the card so she calls me up and says you know call call you know amex and i could use my card for the other business and the clients so i give amex a call and like listen 
They're like, um, you, you, you're all within your spending power. Everything's great. But between both balances, you are at, you know, $70,000. And I'm like, correct. Like, that's actually like normal for us. Like, well, you know, and COVID was starting to brew and they, you know, banks started panicking. So like, well, we need like $40,000. I'm like, yeah, that's when it's owed. It's due on the 24th for both companies and we'll put it through. And like, well, no, we need $40,000 today or your car's gonna be shut off. So on the marketing side, we need it. And the business side, if you don't pay the shipping agent, they shut you down, essentially shutting down your business. You're not repair, you're out of business. And historically, I would either have one of two things. I would have that type of cash on hand to bail me out personally and myself and I are you, or access to a line of credit or some business fund. Right. So I panicked, I didn't have it. Naturally. So I went to the bank who I'm big on, like I go with, I like TD Bank as a banking source. I think they're very flexible from the old commerce days, even though they're a big shop, um, I have a relationship with the manager, I have a banker there, I have a private banker. Like I, I pride myself on having like the old school banking relationship that people used right. to have. And the older guys will know and gals will know, be like, oh yeah, I used to walk in, they know your name. And if I need the money, it was no problem. We're talking 20 years ago. Like, oh, <laughs> I know, is, I'm an antiquated not... guy. And I went there and they basically just said, you're SOL and if you do need money, it's gonna take a while. So long story short, I was able to maneuver some things around. I was able to get, you know, Jason at the time, I was able to move things around and get in advance um, and settle that to keep my business alive, let alone let alone expansion. That was kind of one time when it was jammed up. I'll get to a positive one later. Um, but, and, and you're like, well, Tom, like I watch a show, I watch the other show. Listen, like at the time I had an eight, 10 credit score. Um, I had assets to back this up. I had hard assets to back up. Uh, and I just, I couldn't get money. Yeah. And, and that's, and, that's scary. and that, and that's where the, the market is at and has been for, it's, for some time now. Well, it's, you know, so give it's, us, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, no. Um, it's, it's the business owner struggling to find capital. You know, listen, people getting a mortgage, right? You got a 620 credit score, 650 credit score. Yeah. Okay, no problem. You have income. They yeah. do your debt to income ratio. Okay, we'll prove you for the house. Yeah. Well, guess what? At the end of the day, you don't pay your mortgage. They're taking your house. Correct. Right? Correct. Same with a car loan. You got a 580 credit score. Yeah. They're gonna take the car back. Correct. 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 You got a you got an unsecured business loan. Yeah. What are they taking from you? Nothing. Right. And the banks look at it. There's certain deals that are too small for a bank. Yeah. Certain deals, you know, it's too risky, too small. The industry is too risky. Yeah. Banks are looking at are very strict on business loans. And and I challenge any <laughs> banker out there to tell me that if you get a business owner who walks in with a 680 credit score, that you're going to approve them. I know the answer. The answer is no. Yeah. 700, they're not approving. 810, they're not approving. Correct. Okay. Which is insane. All right. So then, so then, okay. So let's just establish that you're an entrepreneur, business owner. You're we're not talking about startups. Startups a whole startup funny is a whole different piece but you're an established business and you need money, right? So I wanna give you my scenario two. Okay, scenario two was I had, I had at the time an opportunity late of 2019 prior to COVID, of course, of course I buy something that crashes right after, but we saved it, uh, was Digest Magazine, New Jersey Digest. And I needed about $110,000 as part of the acquisition for, the, for that. And that was a positive thing. We felt it fit in with our portfolio. We had an online magazine, we had an agency. Um, we wanted to kind of go inch wide mile deeper in terms of New Jersey content. So it seemed like the right uh, economic and strategy, uh, marketing and business strategy thing. So with that said is, um, I go to TD Bank again, I walk in, I need $110,000, I kind of need it quickly. They turn to me, they're like, well, we'll give you 80. And I'm like, why? He goes, well, two reasons. Number one, if it's either above 80 or above a certain amount, it's gotta go to back office corporate. They're gonna pick you apart, you're not getting approved. And number two, because you need it quicker, I guess pointing to the corner or to the, the regional office, lesser, lower amount, you can get that. I didn't have a choice. So I got 80 there. Uh, I needed 30. I just, I just, and so at that point, this is even prior to COVID. So, so at that point, um, I didn't sell the other house yet. Um, and I didn't just have a lot of cash. I think I had like 20 grand cash to supplement the, the, the purchase. I just don't have cash. So um, through MCA, Merchant Cash Advance, I got 30. I paid a fixed structure every uh, two weeks, I think. Yeah. And I paid it off. Yep. I paid it off in a year as part of the acquisition. That's since paid off. I still owe the other bank. 
But now that business is around New Jersey Digest, digestonline.com. So I'll put a link below. So I don't get involved the day to day there. Um, I have a great team, Michael and team runs that. Uh, but nevertheless, um, um, it helped me get that funding. So those are just two scenarios. One, I kind of needed to save things, but the other kind of wanted to expand. Are those kind of two normal scenarios where somebody would contact JSB? And before I get there, New Jersey Digest, a very classy, great read, uh, that magazine and, and the online platform. Uh, very impressed and uh, yeah, definitely great content on there, guys. So definitely uh, visit the website and uh, whoever in Jersey and gets that magazine is very lucky. Uh, definitely a great read. Um, but yes, those are two scenarios there where you're looking for capital, you can't get it. We are the guys, you know, that can come in and help. All right. And I want to be in, in total transparency here. Okay. So I work with direct lenders. Okay. It's their capital. These are lending institutions. Correct. Okay. So, and I'm just, my company is the middleman. Okay. So it's like, you know, you can go out and buy your own home. You don't need a real estate agent, but you go to a real estate agent and they simplify the deal. You know, you don't, you know, it's like anybody else in their profession. They'll simplify the deal for you. A mortgage broker, a real estate agent, a real estate broker. Um, yeah, I'm but a, I want to, I want to work with you and I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a reason why. And it's not because he's Italian or a little bit maybe. Um, <laughs> but, but, that, but that's, yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah. that's what we do. Instead of going in on your own and not knowing who's going to approve you, getting shut down and thinking, well, that's the end of the road. I got shut down by my bank and I got shut down by this lender and now I'm just throwing up my hands and I'm not going to get it. We come in and if we knew each other at that point, you know, I would have came in and said, Tom, yeah. I can get you that extra capital. In fact, I can get you all of it, but here's a lender that I work with, a direct lender. Now, these are lending institutions. These aren't, you know... Joe lending the money to John. It's a private lending situation. Right. You know, it's not like that. Yeah. Um, this is, these are corporations that strictly do business loans. Yeah. That's all they do. They're not a depository so institution. A they don't do investments. This is exactly what it, it, they do. You know, licensed, regulated, registered in all 50 states. And we work with several of these lenders and we know which lender to go to, to, to get the capital you need, whether it be equipment financing, unsecured capital, we're doing an SBA loan, um, bridge loans, commercial real estate, invoice factoring. We know the lenders to go to that you have the best possible chance to get approved, okay? And we know how to structure your file together um, to get you approved. That's the yeah, ultimate goal. Make it happen. But, but again, make it happen. Yeah. Well, here's the reason why I want to go to you uh, specifically is if I go to Google, right? And I find a said institution that's direct lending. And I, I cut the middle line. Right? If they disapprove me, I have to go through the whole process again. But I'd rather, I'd rather go to you, don't stop me from wrong, give you my application, and I call it FIFO, trigger it to frig out. And if like institution A says no, you have B, C, and D, and you handle that as a broker on my end. Correct. Right. That's why JSC Capital to me make sense from a business standpoint and and there are no fees you know we're not here you know you have to take out your credit card take out your checkbook and you're going to pay us a front-end fee or a back-end fee or an application fee there's no fees to work with us okay we do we're not in this for free okay obviously yeah. we're in this to make money but we bring the deals to the lender and the lender pays us our commission just like a real estate deal or you know mortgage deal yeah. We do the same thing, except we do, you know, business loans. Okay. So, you know, you can put your wallet away and we do not charge you one single dime. And another thing, which some do, is, and some do, there are, you know, people out there or companies out there that charge an upfront fee. Give me $2,000. I'll get you this loan back end. If you get a hundred thousand, send me, you know, $3,000. We don't do any of that. Okay. We deal with the direct, the lender directly. We pass the lender off to you. Contract goes out money goes out and we're fast to fund. We do same day funding. Um, so there's a lot of great benefits that I don't want to get into right now. Let's continue this uh, okay. you know, conversation, but so, we'll mention that later on. So I will put a link below. Right. You can check them out. So, so when should somebody, cause again, in both scenarios, I kind of went to a JSV type company as a secondary measure, but almost as like a cautionary tale. I probably should have went to you. So, so who should come to you? And who should? Well, definitely the people that need the money now. Okay. If you need the money 30 days or less, 45 days or less, come talk to us. If you have a bad credit score, when I say bad credit score, 
to us, a 720 is a, a good credit score, almost very good credit score. So the traditional banks in business lending, yeah. uh, it's on the fence. Yeah. Okay. Now for a lot of other loans, it's a great, it's a great, you know, for a car loan, it's a great, it's a great credit score. For a business loan, uh, you're on the fence there. So if you have less than a 720, 740 credit score, come talk to us. Okay. Weigh your options. Um, if you need the money soon, this week, next week, next month, uh, yeah, even next month, because traditional banks, again, there's a process. And if it's over 80,000 or 100,000, they got to kick it upstairs and they got to get another approval. And usually that process is definitely over 45 and days. The rates aren't like right. super low either. I was uh, quoted, uh, I, I got my line of credit low, super low, because remember this is at the time around 4% and change, but they were swirling around when I was going through a non-conventional through the bank, seven and a half to 12%. I was like, right. well, wait a second. Yeah. Like, you're a bank. I might as well just do my credit card. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, you know, a couple of reasons. Let's go over those reasons. Yeah. 24 hour approval. Yeah. We'll get you. Okay. We'll have an answer for you in 24 hours. Okay. Fa uh, fast funding. So we fund same day. So you accept that offer. Okay. So once you, you sign, sign the contract your, and everything's docu-signed now, even our application is docu-signed. Very simple. Fast, easy so process. I don't see your beautiful face. You, huh? don't, you don't have, you want to, I'll take you out to lunch. No yeah, problem, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah. you don't have to. Um, so fast to fund, fast approval, your credit score. We work with credit scores anywhere from 500 to 850. Okay. And again, why would somebody with an 850 credit score come to us or 800? Very simple. They need the money today next week in two weeks all right they want a short loan to hold them off maybe they got a job coming up a couple jobs coming up whatever it may be they just need that short-term capital to get them through whatever problem they're having okay um and we do soft credit pools we don't do hard inquiries all right so you don't have to worry about your credit score getting dinged up you know when you go for a car and you know they're going out to four or five different lenders, you walk out, you walk out, you walk out of the car dealership, you had a 750, and now a week later, yeah. you got a 730. That's because they went out to three or four different lenders. Yeah. Our lenders do a soft credit pull, okay? It's almost like you're going on credit karma or credit uh, yeah. credit sesame, is that yeah. the other one, right? Yeah. And you're looking at your own, you're not dinging up your credit. That's exactly what we do. So again. This is big because right. I remember when I was going for a mortgage, I had a time, hard time getting a mortgage, and every time I inquired, they kept hitting it and it kept going lower. And I said, wait a second, this is the antithesis of what I want. Right, exactly. And, um, you know, so those are those are the reasons why you would come, you know, look for look for us and work with us because we know where to put your file. We can get you the best possible chance in getting approved. What was that? I think it was 20% of business owners who go to the traditional route, get approved. 80%, 80% business owners who go out to the, the traditional route getting turned down and there's a number of reasons again it's their credit score it's the industry maybe the industry it's a little too risky for the bank and they don't want to go they don't want to work with you yeah you've been in business not long not long enough you've only been in business for a year a year and a half two years they want to see a more of a track record two years yeah. even three years they want to see tax returns okay it's a lot of paperwork and like i said 80 percent of the business are being turned down with us, it's a very simple process. It's a one-page application, bank statements, business bank statements. We do soft credit pulls, and then you know, yeah, photo works. ID, you know, and, and and we're on to get you the funds. Well, so because we we with John and I on the MBA button man, even the theory, we're we're a little little like stringent on who we work with on the sponsorship side. So I sat with Jason, we got a nice cigar, we chatted, and the one question I had is the one thing that scared me about MCAs. Uh, merch cash finances were the whole credit card thing. So I remember I had a bad experience where somebody was like, oh, yeah, oh, that's we're going to give right. you money and we're going to take right. it out of your credit card and all that kind of stuff. Or it's a little, your mur process, right. process, yeah, a little right. murky for me um, versus um, there's other ways that you pay back. Right. Pay so pay. if you are a high volume, like a restaurant, a club, a gas station, a retail store, and you do a lot of volume oh. with credit cards, the lender's going to look and say, listen, let's do this payback through your credit card processor. Yeah. And they're going to take a percentage. So yeah. if one day you do $1,000, they take a percentage. You take $500 the next day, they take a percentage of that. It's a set percentage, okay? Yeah. Um, but for the most part, it's it's going to be taken out of your business account. And we have options, whether it be daily, 
weekly, bi-weekly, and also monthly. Our loans go out from a year all the way up to 10 years, okay? So we're not just talking about a two-year loan. Um, on the merchant cash advance side, yes, we're talking about less than three years. So if that's the category- Well, that, 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 into, that, that, that's what I would expect of something like that. Right. If you're gonna right. give it to me fast, I would want a longer horizon. Right. Now, um, let's kind of talk about the elephant in the room, interest rates. Um, I, you know, it, it, what is it? The time versus uh, money proposition. You ever get somebody says, hey, pay back your invoice in 30 days, it'll take off 2% versus if it's over 90 days, they charge interest. So money's worth more now than later and when money's worth more later than now because if you don't pay it back, right? Depending on if you're the receiver. Right. So I expect the interest rates with that to be a little well, higher than yes. normal. So yes. if you can give a, a range of what to expect so people don't freak out and say, oh my God. Start at 10% and go up from there. Yeah. And, and let's be real, yeah. okay? You have a 580 credit score, okay? The underwriter sees it. They know what you've missed. They know how many late payments you have. If you have a bankruptcy, maybe you have a, a you know, lien, right? Okay, yeah. they see all this stuff. They're taking a risk and they want to be rewarded for that risk. Yeah. Okay. That's natural. Okay. So if you have, you walk in, you know, with a poor credit score, you will be charged a higher interest rate. And if you walk in with a great credit score, you'll, your interest rate will be lower yeah. than somebody with a five fifty credit score. We're not trying, we're not here. And we talked a lot about traditional banks. We're not here competing with the big banks. Okay. It's not going to happen. All right. Their interest rate, their the interest rates are lower. Their terms are more favorable. Okay. But when you can't go to that traditional bank, because yeah. you cannot wait, because your credit score is too low, Correct. or your industry is an industry that they're afraid of and they don't want to work with it, whatever the reason may be, when you can't go, that's when it's alternative it's financing it's comes into place. And that's when JSV Capital can come and, and help you. That's okay. exactly what it's for. So the interest rates are higher. Okay, yeah. but there's a lot of other reasons why you would come to us. Oh, less red tape. Right, right. Right. So we're, we're going to wrap up soon. But one one thing that also is super attractive uh, about this is, let's just say, sake of argument, you decide to go down that route and you pay. I'm just making this up. A 50 percent interest rate, right? And you're, you you have your, your your payments, and things are cooking, and you feel comfortable paying it off. Typically, there's no prepayment penalty. And the interest accrued is only for the amount that it's earned, correct? Yeah, that, that is great. Yeah, typically. And, and another thing I wanted to bring up is, is that if you paid off early, you save on interest payments and so forth. So you actually get rewarded for paying off early, okay? Yeah. Um, and there's no prepayment penalties. So, which, yes, exactly. which um, I remember uh, uh, I was working on a deal for somebody. And they had me like look at the contract and they had a really big loan from the bank and the bank there was like a, a punishment if it was prepaid in like three years or earlier yeah well an actual penalty because well, they still want their money yeah. and, <laughs> and, and, and you know this too they also they also sell the loans after them uh, that's the other yeah. part too like if you get a loan let's say like a mortgage or any type of loan they a lot sell of them, they sell minutes. the loans no. and it's like you're cutting a check to right. a and all of a sudden it's a b and it's right. like you kind of went with them because like Relationship banking, and I hate to say this, for the most part, it's dead, I would think. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I mean, again, by all means, you know, they're there for a reason and work with them if you can. Um, we all bank with the big banks, right? Yeah. But there, there's times where you have to look elsewhere. Yeah. And that's where we come in, you know? All right. So for people, we're going to put a link below, jsvcapital.com. We'll put a link below. Um, new theory sent you. We're going to send this all, also on our um, on our tour, NBA Button Man, our, our sister podcast, if you will, John Panisi. We sent it to those guys um, and just tell them, you know, Tom and John sent you or Tom sent you, however you find JSV Capital. Um, so we'll put a link below. So don't worry about saying how to find you, but tell us a little bit about yourself, Jason. Where'd you grow up and give us a little bit about you for those who want to Maybe get to know you a little better. Yeah. Um, thanks for asking. So yeah, I grew up in Clark, Clark, New Jersey. I uh, went to Johnson High School. Uh, from there, I went to the military, had a stint there, went to college for I a little bit. You in the military? What yeah. branch? <laughs> I was in the infantry army. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, so after that, I got, I'm actually a blue collar guy background. OK, 
Okay. Down uh, here in New Jersey, New York, we're right. I'm right. 20 minutes outside of the city is the port where all the ships come in with the containers yeah. and right. So I got involved in that at a young age, worked my way up, supervisor, operation manager, worked for a couple of companies. Um, and then I actually fell into this niche and, uh, you know, it started off where I was just doing it on the side for a little bit. And then it was lucrative. I saw what I, who I was helping out. Yeah. I was always interested in my younger years. When I was 19, 20 years old. I did a, a I wouldn't call it an internship, but I worked, I was a junior broker for a company called First Republic in Manhattan. Yeah. Uh, it's a brokerage firm, um, which now stockbroking is like, you know, you go online, you buy your own stocks. That's you know, right. it's, it's a, it's a dying the world uh, has changed. Right, 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 right. It's a dying profession. Um, but I was, I was, you know, I was interested in, in making deals happen, you know, helping this guy needs, you know, something I could help him out. Cause I know this person and this niche I fell into because that's exactly what I do. And, yeah. and, uh, you know, knowing that how many business owners were out there who couldn't get capital, you know, it just intrigued me even more. And I turned it into from a part-time thing, turned it into a full-time thing. And, uh, and this is how we came to JSV capital. Love it. Yeah. So just a few shout outs. Shout out to NBA Button Man, John Panisi, my co-host. Shout out to John. Uh, shout out to Anthony, his business partner that he co-founded JSV Capital with. Hopefully, eventually, we'll we'll have a little conversation with him. Yes. And just a shout out to everybody support to the show. The show is doing really well. Um, the new theory numbers are up as a result. So I think I'm getting some crossover there. And then we found out that just like Jason, about 20% of the audience kind of came over from New Theory. So our OG New Theory audience, as well as the OG New Theory to Buttman audience, I say a sincere thank you. Great, I'm happy, great happy that you were able to see my progression. We're getting a little more serious about the content, a little bit more serious about uh, the quality, and um, that's it. But we lost our assistant, so I'm going to have to close <laughs> this out. So, Jason, I'll give you the final words, Yes. and then I'll hit the, uh, the stop button. Tom, once again, thanks for having me. A uh, beautiful day here to, to do this interview. And everybody out there, you're a business owner. You're looking for capital. You don't know where to go. You've been turned down by your bank. Visit jsvcapital.com. There are no strings attached, okay? So when we get your application, we're not gonna ding your credit score. We're gonna put it with the lender that we think has the best chance of getting approved. If it doesn't get approved, no harm, no foul, okay? It didn't cost you anything, no dings on your credit. If you get approved, you have the option to say yes or no. And if you say yes, great, we got you the capital you need and we move forward. And another thing, one more thing that I forgot to bring up yeah. was that in 30 days, 45 days, if you're on track to making those payments, okay, we can re-up that, we can re-up that loan. Okay. So if you took out a hundred thousand, you paid it down to 80,000, but now you need another 50,000. We can come in and get you another 50,000. So we can keep, I don't want to say recycling, but keep upping that loan amount. You know, the more capital you need, we can keep doing it. All right. So um, that's another thing to think about as well. Right, almost like a line of credit, but we can just keep adding to it. All right. Yeah. So, so jsvcapital.com. For all your business lending needs, guys. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you for having me. It, it, it's our pleasure. And uh, Serendipity is here. She's our special guest. You guys are winning. And of to, course, the black us. cat uh, sits on the couch while we're doing the interview. And gives us good luck. <laughs> and gives us good luck. So just right. shout out to Serendipity. Mention Serendipity in your comments below. And uh, this is Tom Lebeck and Jason. And I'm just going to hit the, the, the thank stop Thank you, guys. Button. Take care. And uh, thank you so much.